remarkable both storyteller of the old and the new. And as much as you said uh, you're not as uh, high on contemporary issues, there was an extraordinary amount of contemporary learning about contemporary issues in the stories that were told this evening. So thank you very much, Jim, for being with us. Uh, someone else is going to thank you again in a few minutes and express with a token of our appreciation uh, our, our gratitude for you coming from the States and joining us over this, uh, this couple of days. So thank you for being here and help me uh, thank him formally. applause you can see that this has set a very high watermark for an inaugural uh, annual lecture uh, and it wouldn't have happened uh, if we didn't have two very insightful and forward-thinking visionaries in our midst uh, and I wanted to uh, particularly note and thank uh, David Morrison and Helena Heitlinger for making this possible but also for leaving an enormous legacy for this university, for students, for our faculty, for our staff, for our community members. And there are many of you that have joined us from those categories this evening. Uh, and on behalf of all of us, uh, I wanted to really present to uh, David and uh, Alan a, a token of our appreciation uh, to remember this first, uh, but also to remember that there are many more to come. So to uh, David and Helena. comment would be to say anytime Jim wants to become an economic refugee there's a home <laughs> church. So thank you for joining us. Now Larry Filkovich is the uh, coordinator of the Student Association in International Development. One of the um, we just want to say thank you so much for coming. So many of us have been challenged through your pieces in writing, and it was a great pleasure and privilege, privilege to get to hear you speak. So we would like to present you with a Trent pen set, as well as <laughs> much more beautiful our Roberta Bondar's um, photographs of Canadian landscape. Last word. Before we adjourn for refreshments, I'd like to thank a number of people who have worked very hard to make this event the wonderful event it is. I'd like to thank Jennifer McIsaac, Diane Lister, Catherine Velhurst, Rosemary Devlin, Cindy Turnbull, Jamie Fowler, and Ian Allen. Thank you all, and thank you all very, very much, and please come to the atrium for some refreshments.